Hello to the Gerard High School class of 2020. We want to let you know that we love you and that we are Gerard, we're a family, and we will always take care of each other. Zero, zero, all those ears! Greetings, Gerard High School. I hope this message finds everybody safe and healthy um, as we meander our way through this crazy time. I was just thinking the other day about when I met so many of you back in August and September. Um, and in some ways that feels like yesterday, and in some ways it feels like it was 10 years ago. There's so many things have happened this year, especially in these last couple of months. But I wanted to uh, wish you well, and I wanted to just give you a couple of quick things to keep in mind. Um, first of all, make sure during this time you're taking care of your families, uh, your mental health, um, and the safety of you and the people who you care about. Uh, number two, uh, make sure that you're doing everything you can to make sure you have your work done uh, for your classes. Um, anything that we can do to help you in that process, uh, make sure that you know that we're, uh, we're available. And the third thing, and most importantly, um, when we talk about being a family, we are Gerard, family, we take care of each other. You hear me or Mr. O'Hara or one of the other principals or one of the other adults in the building say that, that is not lip service. You know, that is something we believe in. We love you. Uh, we want the best for you, uh, both with your schoolwork and with you as a person. And anything that you need from our staff members, from your teachers, from your tribe member, from me or Mr. Cardero, from our counseling department, Mrs. Beekler, you know, anything that we can do to help you, uh, please make sure that, uh, that you reach out. Um, and we're also trying to reach out to you. Uh, so again, until I see you all again, you know, know that you're, I'm thinking about you. Uh, know that I speak for all of the staff members when, when I say there's nowhere we'd rather be than in our classrooms with you. Uh, we love you. We will see you soon. And we are Gerard. Students, Mr. Cardero here. Hope all is well. Just wanted to say that we miss you guys. We're thinking about you guys. Um, stay safe and make sure you get your schoolwork done. Take care. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Borga. I hope you're all doing well. I miss you so much. Um, oh wait, hold on. This doesn't look right. Hold on, just a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Uh, I kind of like the other way better, but we'll go with this. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you all how much I miss you, how much I wish I could see each and every one of you every day. I hope you're all doing well. I hope that you're taking care of yourself and your loved ones. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And know that you're missed tremendously. Know that we wish we could be with you right now. We are Gerard, we are a family, and hopefully we'll get back together again very, very soon. And I do mean very, very soon because ugh, crazy things are happening around here. Just watch. So whose lipstick is that? Uh, mine. You bought it? Yeah. Where'd you buy it at? My lipstick? Yeah. I buy it from Home Depot. <laughs> Hello to all our Gerard family. We miss you. Stay safe. A special shout out to the class of 2020. You're in our thoughts and stay strong. Remember the Gerard way. We set the pace. Let everyone else follow if they can. Love you. Bye. Hi guys. I miss you. Do you remember when life was a little simpler and you voted me spirit queen at the fall pep rally? Well, I'm still your number one fan. Stay strong. I love you guys. Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. Snyder. You know, I miss you guys, even though you drove me up the wall. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, it's true. You could sit around in your comfy clothes all day with your dogs doing absolutely nothing. Or you could get yourself up and dressed like you have somewhere to go, even though we don't. Go outside, get some fresh air and maybe some sunshine every once in a while and you'll feel better. And I know a lot of us are saying that we miss you and we really do. We can't wait to be back in school with you. Hope you're doing well. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ducci, live from my home. Um, just wanna give you a little advice. I mean, I miss you guys. I know it's frustrating, but a little advice for you is to take this opportunity and actually try to improve yourself. I know we're not together and all that stuff, but go back and take those lessons that your teachers gave you and actually try to learn it. 
know, get it, get a little bit ahead. Try to improve your ACT score. Study, get books from Amazon or, or online. Study, improve that score. If you're a senior, go out and get those scholarships. Not everyone's getting them, so got a better chance. Or um, try to research a career, what you want to do for the rest of your life. Research online. Or just volunteer, do something, you know, volunteer in a safe way. You know, make masks or deliver groceries, something very safe. But do something that you're proud of during this time. Take this as an opportunity to improve yourself, something to be proud of, so when, when you have grandchildren someday, you can tell them how you persevered and you accepted the challenge during the pandemic and uh, you know, just something that you're proud of. So good luck everyone and um, good luck seniors and wish everyone well. Miss ya, bye bye. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Burnett, just checking in with you. Hope you guys are staying safe and practicing your social distancing skills and staying positive. We hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Hey Gerard, it's Miss Billick. Penelope and I just wanted to remind everybody to keep staying home, keep staying safe, and keep doing awesome. We know you guys are working really hard. Keep up the great work. Most importantly, try to keep smiling, okay? Hi GHS. I miss each and every one of you. I hope you're all healthy and safe, and I want you to finish the year strong. Hi, it's Mrs. Byrne. I hope you and your family are safe and well. I just wanted to remind you to keep your immune system healthy and strong. Eat good foods, get plenty of rest, exercise, and like I'm always telling you, stay hydrated. Seniors, class of 2020, you will always have a very special place in our hearts. For the rest of your lives, you have an incredible story to tell. Go out and do great things. Gerard family, I miss you and can't wait until we're reunited. Bye. Hey everyone, just wanted to say hello to everybody. I hope all is well. And from the Camuso family to yours, just remember, As you can see, I can't wait for social distancing to be over. Miss and love all of you guys. Can't wait to see you. Hope you're staying safe. Bye. Hey guys, we really miss you. We hope you're staying safe. Hope you're getting all your schoolwork done. Don't forget, we are... Joe! Free. We, we are, are Gerard! Gerard. <laughs> hi GHS, it's Miss Latell. Just wanted to say hi. Hope everybody's staying safe. Miss you lots. Hope you have a great summer and I can't wait to see you soon. I just wanted to say the most important thing at hand, keep up your safe practices. And I miss all your faces so much. Hi everyone, I miss you. I hope you're staying healthy. Go Gerard. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm here with Mrs. Rich to share a message with you. She wants you to know that your teachers are here for you and that she misses you very much. One thing um, to remember is take care of yourself, find humor, maybe watch a dog video, that's what I like to do, or a funny show, or maybe tell yourself some math jokes. Be kind to yourself and to others, and we miss you very much. Take care. From me and my baby Jax, stay healthy, stay safe, I miss you. Hello. Oh, hi there. Yeah, what would I like to tell all the students at Gerard? Okay, thanks. Hmm, that's not real.
really a difficult question. In this time of confusion, we don't want to listen to the voices that we sometimes hear in our lives that discourage us. <laughs> Instead, we want to focus on the voices that encourage us, the people who know us and want the best for us. And so we're looking for some positive comments. <laughs> okay, so reach out, get a hold of us, email us, because we want to be there for you. See, that, that answer was... <laughs> hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hey, hi. we just wanted to say hi, and we say we miss you, and hope everybody's doing well. And we have three things we want to say. We want to say Gerard Strong, strong. Gerard okay. Family, mm -hmm. and Gerard, Gerard Love. Yeah. Mom, here. <laughs> Stay safe. I love and miss you. All right, Jazz Jazz. This is Coach Hedrick here. Just want to say a couple things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to address our underclassmen. Um, I know they're saying how your school you wanted to end, but I um, just want to let you know that next year uh, we got to come back stronger than ever um you know you guys took for granted that you thought you'd always have school and after school activities and it got taken away from you and there were kids that i know of that don't like school that told me they miss it so next year when we come back let's come back better than ever and let's not take it for granted and let's come back together and be strong and for our seniors i know this is not how you want it to end but uh moving forward um for you seniors, especially you, you guys going to college, same thing. You only got four years of college. So I want you guys to enjoy it. Do the best you can, work hard, make us proud. Uh, we'll never forget you. Never forget where you came from. You'll always be drawing at heart. And uh, G's up, stay strong.